Hello guys, how are we doing? How's everything? Welcome to another tutorial. And this week we're going to be looking at this. Okay, if you look closely at this animation, I just did the software render of this so we can see that I have an idea of what I want to create. Now sometimes you would want to animate creating an object from a particular position into another position so what we're going to be doing this week is how you can animate picking up an object from one position to another position and placing the object there that's what we're going to be looking at so without further ado let's go into the software and try to see how we can do that okay now i'm here in the software and um we already have this model and by the way this model was I downloaded this model online I'm going to put the link to where you can download this in the description so that you can also follow along and the good thing about this model is that the model has a Cinema 4D file which is already animated so you don't really get to do much of an animation the only animation I did is to widen up this object if you if I get close to this object this strong that's the only animation I did I that's the only changes I made in the animation I widened it up before before holding down so that's the only thing I change, just changing the animation. So basically what you do is just select this object, then go into the rotation, then go to rotation and change. So you need to go to where the key, the animation this thing is so you can change it. So you just override, change the position, then override it by hitting this keyframe notes and all that so that is what I did in order for me to set my keyframe rather so let's get into the tutorial so before you can start anything here we already have established what we want so let me create some texture so we can define something different from what we have so we have this for this and we have our object so let's create another one for this object so we can have this so I already have this setup which I've created I created the floor myself and created the object that I want to move and animate and all that so before you start anything here for us to do this animation we are going to be making use of constraint tag so you go to the object that you want to move you right click on the object go to character tags and you see constraints so as soon as you click on constraints nothing is visible here except some of the different types of constraints here but for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be looking at parental constraint and before i go into the tutorial let me explain what we are doing now when you parent an object so let me create just two objects here if i create one object here and i create another object somewhere here what parenting does is if I'm to make this platonic a child of this sphere, that is, I've parented this, so this is now the parent, this is the child. If I move this parent, the child goes with it. If I rotate the parent, the child also gets rotated and revolve around the parent. So that's just the whole thing about this constraint, parental constraint. So if you are to add the parent constraint to this object, it's going to automatically bring up this parent tab now what we're going to be doing we're going to be parenting this object into different nodes or objects but in this case we don't have a geometry we want to set up different parents that we are going to be parenting this to so that at a particular point in time this object will be stuck to a particular parent then moves on to another parent then to another parent so i actually need three parents for this so for me to create these three parents i will make use of two nulls so the first null is going to be the start position 
and the second one is going to be the end position so I know where I want the start position to be so if I select this object I, I know that this object is somewhere here so I want the parent to be here and that is not a must you, co you could have set your parents to whatever you want so if I want the start, the start is here I can move the start to the same position with this object by clicking on this start as a child of it first then zero out all these things then I have this child I have this start position at the same position with this object but it's not a must you can also offset let's assume the start position is here the start null is here you can still work with this so let's leave it here then the end now I want to place it somewhere on the top of this place so I will go to my top view bring the end now to this position where I want to have it then possibly bring it up like I said it's not you don't have to be accurate about the position all right so I have these two I have the start I have the end and the third position that I'm going to have or the third parents that I'm going to have is going to be the hand of this the hand of this robot so at another point I want this hand to be the parent so as the hand moves this object also moves so I know that this hand here this is it here. this object is a hand so I can call this the handle then these are the two so let's get to the animation so if I click on this tab I already have this so don't forget I need to have three different parents that I'm going to constrain to so we are going to be targeting to three different parents so we already have one object so I'm going to add two more parents so I have one two and three so what I want to do is the first parents I'm going to drag but before I start dragging these are the parameters we're going to be constraining you have the position the scale and the rotation so I actually want to leave the position and scale because I want the object to be on this to be affected by the position of the parent and also by the rotation of the parent. So if the parent rotates, this object should also rotate accordingly. So I have that. So th the next thing is I'm going to bring the start to this and notice what happened to this object. It's going to shift. Okay, I'm going to bring the hand to the next one. And I'm going to bring the end to the last target so <clears throat> for me to start the animation can you see what we have so this is wrong so what we're going to do at this first position i need to set what of which of these i'm going to have now the reason why i have everything affecting this is because each of these targets have weight value so it's trying to blend in all the three weights so if i to bring this three weights down you see i have 100% for the first position. If I want it to be on the second position, I bring up the second position is on this object. So you can animate this manually. You can use two of these ways to animate, either by just keyframing and all that. But there is a shorter way to do that. So we can just make everything high. So at this first position, at this position zero, I will want to click on this drop down. Choose. The three positions that I want. So for me to click on the start, I hold down control, then click on start. What will happen is that the object is going to bring everything to zero. But okay, before then, <coughs> sorry about that. Before then, I will want everything here down. So having only this here, then I can now control and click on this start so that is going to be the start position so at this point I want before I start moving as this thing as the trunk changes I want to change the second position to the handle so I'm going to click on this hold down control set handle that has been set and the weight is up and the other weights are down for the other object so as I move we notice this object moves so by the time I get to this end point I want now if I move here you notice before this 
handle start opening up i want to set the last position so as it gets to this place i'm going to come back here hold down control and click on this end position then that's it so if i'm to come out and see the animation that i have made and come back to the position you notice you have this object click and move it come to this place and click move you see that so that is how you go about adding constraint parent constraint to an object to constrain an object to different parents at a particular point in time and move this object up so if you feel you've learned something in this tutorial please give a like give a like to this and share the video give a thumbs up to this and that will really mean a lot to me so do have a wonderful day and god bless you